guys this is malinki welcome back to my channel voice of malinki today we will talk about population stabilization and birth control and if you are new my channel please subscribe my channel and if you like my video please do like comment and share my video so first let's check the statistics and uh, the world population was only 2 billion or 2000 million in 1900 uh, it was 6 billion in 2000 and 7.2 billion in 2011. So 1 million is equal to 10 lakhs. Right? Now let's find out the Indian population. Okay. So it was 350 million in 1947. 1 billion in 2000, 1.2 billion in 2011 May. Okay, so that means the world population as well as Indian population is getting increased day by day, right? And according to 2011 census report, the population growth rate of India was less than 2% percent that means 100 people can give birth to two babies in a year so that rate is very high right so what are the reasons of such a high population growth rate First, uh, decline in death rate, then decline in maternal mortality rate, MMR, then decline in infant mortality rate, IMR, okay, and the number of people in reproducible age also increased. See, since infant mortality rate decreases, it is most obvious that people in reproducible age increases. And what are the consequences of such a high population growth rate? So, there would be obvious scarcity in food, in shelter, in clothing, etc. Hence, it was indeed essential to control the population growth. So it could be through advertisement, like we can spread posters, we can spread bills, etc. We can agree with one child norm. That means a couple can commit for a single child only. And the marriageable age of women should not be less than 18. And for male, it should not be less than 21 years. The couple having small families like only one or two children are given incentives. So in order to maintain a small family, couple should use some contraceptive methods right so what are the features of an ideal contraceptive so it should be user friendly it should be easily available it should be effective enough it should be reversible that means when a couple plan for a baby they can stop the use of contraceptive and it would not hamper their process. And it should not have any side effects and it should not interfere with sexual drive, desire and sexual act. And there are different types of contraceptives. So 
we will see it in the next lecture. Hope you understood the session. Thank you.